What is happening, y'all? Welcome back. So, let's push in. We're gonna actually uh, make the progress we need to to win here. I'm gonna take this off since it's not matter anyway. Uh, we're gonna put on some fire salts. Cause apparently, this guy doesn't care what kind of damage you do. So, we're gonna buff things up. We're gonna take him down, and we're gonna push our way in. This is insane. God, give me back my stuff. Screw it. We're going through an umbral. I don't care. I can't keep dealing with his bullshit. There was nothing down here but some loot. Well, I guess and a spot to, to put a thing, but... I am putting one anywhere close to that guy. If I'm placing one, it's gonna be somewhere... Or he is not. You like that? Charmed paw, the vestige moth, and no. No. So there's three trophy bosses left. This looks like welcome to the final boss type vibe. But one's called the Sundered Monarch, so maybe I fight the, the king before I fight uh, a deer. That's the king. Or what's left of him, at least. Oh, took away my fire salt. Well, I don't have high hopes for this fight, because I'm already in Withered State. Hey, buddy. I'm just gonna come close. We can just talk it out, you know? This guy has health. Okay, so you're supposed to attack him and then he gets angry and he's like, Let me grieve! Is he going to beat me with the statue of his wife? He's thinking about it. head of the statue of his wife.
Not sure. I'd... Ow, shit. Ow, shit. I'm not sure I like the yellow eyes. Your patterns actually don't seem all that bad. Oh. Okay. It's a really weird hitbox on that. God, my stamina is ass without my ring. Do I have to hide behind? Oh, no. What's that? that but that was a whiff That was an insane first attempt. I have absolutely no question that this guy is about to get bodied. Alright. Um, I just need to pretend I don't hear it. I probably want Ignite on just to get the Ignite proc up even faster. This area seemed so much more intimidating. It was just like a Ruiner, a Lady, and then a bunch of stuff because I was in the Shadow Realm. It's nice that he just chills for a bit, because I can go and pick this up. How much is on the line for this fight? 3,400? It's not nothing, but it's also not, like, incredibly necessary. Just a quick 5,000. Salts fell off. Yeah, he 
he spends too much time hopping around and not enough time actually attacking. Oh god. I'm stuck. Oh shit, I'm burning up. Ooh. Oh, this was the... Yeah, that thing. Ow, shit. That's a surprising amount of tracking. Shit, no, I can't, I can't fight him right there. This, is a, this doesn't seem like a two-phase fight. I don't know. I mean, phase one's kind of easy. No. All right, the king is dead. So, Sundered Monarch. Next up would be something called Elaine the Starved. We got two of these. I didn't even have to go Umbral. So he went crazy and everyone attacked him. Remembrance of the Sundered Monarch. Kind of regretting leveling up my faith weapon because I'll probably find like a badass weapon in a second. I mean, this this screams final boss to me, so... How many do I got? I got two, screw it. Let's just plant one. Let's run back, see what the weapon from this guy is, and then if it's a deer, it's a deer. If not... It still sucks that I spent all those things to uh, unlock Big Cthulhu Man, and it turned out that I had failed his quest without even realizing it. So there's one more missing. Elaine the Starved. And that, I mean, that is, it's basically a deer.
What did Papa Monarch have? C C. It's whack. Heavy memento. That's solid. Melted crown and then infernal decree. I mean that that's a fifty weight shield. It's probably really good. I'll buy your big shield, why not? Let's go. Not like I'm getting anything else from these fucking bosses. It's all hybrid shit. Alright. Back to the seedling. I really hope this isn't like a... Hey, you beat the boss. Welcome to New Game Plus. Could be. I look upon you with pity. Oh, oh, he's gonna talk. Took him a minute. For you have been deceived and enslaved by forces who regard you as nothing more than an instrument through which they might enact their blasphemous will and prevent my rightful return. They speak of light while offering you nothing but blindness. Weak hypocrites relying on the malignant power of Umbra. With one breath, men decrying it with another. They brand me evil, a tyrant, and yet I offer you something they will not. A choice. Reject the fanatical crusaders and the deranged servants of the self-proclaimed judge. Dismiss all of their false dogma and the torturous mission to which they have bound you. And only then will you know freedom. And if you would hear it, the truth. I guess we, I mean, you know. I hope this isn't like, do you align with the boss or do you not align with the boss? Maybe if I choose to hear the truth instead of fighting a deer, I fight the Elaine. She ain't looking too hot. Was that a deer?
even I fell. Although the judges found themselves unable to kill a god, despite their best efforts. So do I actually do I actually fight you or is this guy oh, shit? I wonder if I actually fight anybody or if this is the fight. I mean, I wanted the Umbral ending, but things just didn't quite work out like that. Of the umbral lamp knows no station, consuming even a god. Or 
Horus's will done by his heresy-tainted champion, rewarded only with annihilation. With renewed influence, Aureus unleashes his radiance to purify those deemed transgressors. In light, they fall. Reached the radiant ending. Yeah! You unlocked a new class. Radiant Purifier. A martial priest of the Church of Orion Radiance whose rigorous training in matters both spiritual and somatic serves them unflinchingly cleansing. They got some... They got a cool halberd. Uh, no. Continue current journey. So does it bring me, like, just before the boss? I don't get to make a uh, weapon from your soul? I want to make a weapon from your soul. Yeah, I can't interact with it. Ah, oh, man. So I wonder how the bad guy ending goes. Would I just not light the beacons? Because I feel like the sixth beacon didn't show up until I had lit all the other ones. So I'm not 100%, and I can just go to New Game Plus 1 at any time. Nice! Our stats are basically stacked. There's really nowhere to go. I mean, I could... I could take this up to 75. Um, wonder what meta will be. I ended the game at exactly 110. I don't know how big PvP is gonna be anyway, I haven't tried it. Uh, but either way... We have made it to end. So... Uh, we are going to wrap things up here on the Let's Play. There's a lot to take in, a lot to figure out, to be honest. I, like... So I know, trophy-wise, I know I'm still missing a boss, Elaine the Starved, who I'm assuming is hidden somewhere. But, like, Exactor Dunmere wanted knowledge. Let me see if, if maybe I, I, I got his stuff done. Let me go talk to him. He was asking me to kill somebody, I remember. You serve a higher... This land is overflowing with... To offer you... Also, they are already... Yeah, like, I mean, God, dude. I'm, I'm gonna have my work cut out for me with the walkthrough, because it seems like there is a lot of different stuff and side paths and, and like... <sighs> I mean, I think I screwed myself out of the Umbral ending, because What's-Her-Face disappeared and became a boss instead of me being able to to give her the mind parasite. Let me see, maybe I have enough radiance that I can like see what that would do now. Is it radiance? No, it was no, the Light Reaper's Umbral Parasite. Mmm. So I would need to respec and get the Inferno high enough to read this. Even then it's just gonna be it's just gonna be a piece of lore, so who knows? Um Well either way We'll wrap up the let's play there. I'm done well before launch, so I do plan on having a proper review of the game ready to go by the time it launches up, but it's been a pretty fun journey. A couple, couple frustrating parts here and there, um, but not bad at all. I think I would put it put it right around Liza P, also a 4 out of 5. Definitely a couple things that stop it from getting that, that perfect 5 out of 5 score, but this is a solid pickup for sure. So either way, we are wrapping things up here. We have the walkthrough prep, and then the walkthrough as well, which I think, I mean, the hardest ending to get is probably going to be the Umbral, so I'm probably going to suggest people go towards that for the walkthrough, because I imagine the other two are just like, light the beacons or don't light the beacons, but anyway, that's research for a different time. So, either way, thanks for coming on by. Uh, if I do discover where the hidden boss is at, we'll get a, a bonus episode 53, if I can access it. Otherwise, I'll catch y'all soon with the walkthrough if it hasn't already started.